How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Day Dave and this is episode 11 of Let's Play series for Farming Simulator 22 on the mod map Alma, Missouri. And where we last left off, we ended up investing in this town of Alma. We have now bought the ketchup factory. We also built a juice factory. So we're taking all the fresh produce here at the farm and we are turning it into some amazing, amazing goods that we can send around town and around the world i am so excited for that but what do we have going on here today well today as you can see we've got some ready to harvest barley that's right we are actually over in the neighbor's field right now you can see there's a silo right over there but this barley field is ready which means my barley field is ready but i told my neighbor i would give them a hand let them know that hey you know i'm gonna go ahead and help you out first and then i'm gonna set my sights over on my field so let's go ahead and get going we've got lots and lots of work to do here today so let's get it done Alright, so I'm returning with the truck or the tractor and trailer, but, and there's a big but, I was thinking, this carries about 30,000 liters. This is a monster field. This is absolutely huge, and I need to do something about this. So, what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to invest. I have a trailer that is not really fit for purpose anymore uh it kind of interferes with the barn here it raises up it's just it's not working too well for me so i think i'm gonna go ahead and get a new trailer gonna grab my truck where is my truck what do i do with it where'd it go oh i remember now it's over here i have to load up all the honey and transport that over to uh over to town there so that is going to happen later but i am going to grab this truck i'm going to grab my old trailer and i'm going to go ahead and uh, buy something new something with a bit more uh whoops oops 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 
No, let's back up. Drop that off. There we go. Yeah, something with a bit more, uh, with a bit more. Yeah. So let's go ahead and pull into the barn here and grab the trailer. I will go ahead and cut us out from here and I will cut us back in as soon as we get back with the new trailer. We'll see you in a while. All right, well, I've got the new trailer all ready to go. Already picked up one load with it so far. We're getting our second right here. Let's see, how am I looking? Oh, I gotta open the tarp. Ha ha ha. There it goes. Yeah, look at this. Nice belly dump trailer. 50,000 liter capacity. This thing is gonna work out just perfectly. This is also going to work for my cow barn, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep filling this thing up, wait till it gets full, take it up, deliver the product, and then going to go and start filling up the cow barn, get that all taken care of so there's at least some feed in there because that's running dangerously low, and yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Well, what's nice about this trailer, it's got a nice swivel axle rear here. So as we make wide turns, all of a sudden this whole axle here will actually boop kind of turn on a dime and the whole trailer will kind of just follow along very nicely to the truck rather than trying to, you know, take too wide of turns and things like that. It just makes it just turn that much easier. So I am super, super happy with this trailer, but I am going to go ahead and get back to work. We'll see you in a while. All right, so I'm passing by the field where I'm doing my work. I'm going to go ahead and run back to my farm just really quick, and I'm going to load some TMR into my belly dump trailer and go ahead and dump it here into the cow barn because they are starting to run out of food, and yeah, don't, uh, don't want them to stop producing. So let's go ahead and take care of them. Probably do uh, maybe two, yeah, probably two loads is what I think we'll do. Let's 
Oh yeah, look at that. Gonna have a hundred thousand liters of TMR. Work out very nicely. Okay. Now this is gonna work out so much better than our last trailer, because this thing will actually fit in here nicely. Here we go. Dumping 50,000 liters in. And let's see, let's take a look at the cows. Okay, so we've got 69,000. So yeah, we were, uh, we were running pretty low there. Open up this door. Got to make sure I close the gate. Oh. And let's go grab trailer number two. Fill this one up, dump it off, and then we'll head back over to the field on the back side of the barn over there and get back to work. But this was something I needed to do for a little while now, and I'm glad that we finally had the opportunity to do it. There we go. All done here. Now let's get back to the other field and get back to work. Need to close these doors though first. Okay. Let's go ahead and close this door. Open this and close that. Perfect. Yep, gate open. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, let's head back over to the field. We'll unload the worker and get back to it. And I think, yeah, I think I can just cut through right over here. Oh yeah, look at that. Right in the back side here, perfect. Not uh, far enough ahead. There we go.
All right, so I'm pulling into town here with a full load behind me, and I am actually going to look into a new truck. I got a new trailer, but this truck is just not able to handle all this weight, and it's because you see all this negative space, empty space behind the truck. The tongue, the, the hitch to the trailer is so far back that it just puts so much weight over the rear tires that it's actually lifting the front tires off. So I can't do anything about uh, keeping the truck on the road kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and sell off this truck. I'm going to buy something else and I will be right back. All right, so I went ahead and made my purchase. I returned my new old truck, got a new one, and there's the new one. And I think that this is going to be a little bit better situated for the heavier loads that I'm going to have to contend with. Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's see what we got going on here. this doing oh it's rolling down the window oh, okay is this one rolling down this one yes it is okay all right so let's go ahead and hook up to the trailer There we go. So let's go ahead and head over and take care of this unload. And I'll see how well this truck handles. Hopefully it handles a little bit better than the last one. This truck should have more than enough power. There we go. Awesome. Let's unload this and head back and get some more uh, barley in the hopper. We'll see you in a while. All right, so we are putting on the finishing touches right here last little bit okay so let's see if I can get the pipe there we go All right, let's see what we got here. 28,600 liters. That's awesome. That's a good start right there. What I might end up doing is just taking all this and, let's see, taking all this, because this is all mine. This is what I have left over. I completed the contract up at this point uh, here. So yeah, I can go ahead and keep all this. I might just throw this into the chicken coop. Let's see. Chickens. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's throw it in with the chickens. And then whatever we get off of my field is mine. We'll hang on to that. Let's see. So let's put this right here. There we 
go. And now we should see this go climbing. There we go, 70,000 liters. Chickens are going to be good for a while. Now, we need to park that there. And we need to go grab the swather. Let's see, so we're going to go over here, grab this, all right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use this and we're going to cut all the product here on the field down, all of it's got to come down. And then we need to run up to the shop and we need to get a harvester. We need to kind of go from from this point to be able to uh, get everything that we need. Let's see, so how's that looking? Oh yeah, look at that. Alright, so yeah, we are taking all this product. We're going to pretty much just cut it and put it down on the ground. Going to then run up to the uh, to the shop gonna get a harvester and pick up our pickup header that's been sitting up there with that harvester and we'll be kind of good to go at that point I'm uh, I'm pretty excited I'm really happy because we finally got something to call our own this is all 100% my product I don't have to split it with anyone. I'm not doing work for somebody else. This is my field, my work. Ugh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, 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 oh. We are... We're missing a bit. All right, well, at this point, I will go ahead and finish up this most outer headland and then just uh, keep on plugging away, trying to get all this product down from uh, where it's at now. And, yeah, we'll go from there. Just going to take one step at a time. This is a pretty large field. It's going to take a little while, so I will uh, see you in a while. So we are putting on the finishing touches here on the farm. Got just this little path here. And ta-da, nice. All done, let's go ahead and raise that. Oh man, this was a big job very big job but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just park this off to the side and then I have to head up to the shop and go ahead and purchase me a brand new harvester oh yeah we are making a big big purchase today and I cannot wait to get it gonna gonna buy it gonna go ahead and grab the header that's up there at the shop and we're gonna be good to go so I will see you up at the shop in just a little while. Alright, so I just purchased my new harvester and there it is. Big, beautiful case. Look at that. It's going to go very well with the case pickup header that I got there. Let's go ahead and hop in. Fire it up. Oh, look at that. Let's pick this up. 
There we go. All right. We're going to get this thing back to the farm, and then we're going to get to work. We'll see you there. All right, pulling into the yard here. Just getting back to the farm. And we're going to pull this thing right around the back side of the farm and get to work. All right. So now, let's go ahead and pull up here. Unfold. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Now, I did have to go into a little bit of debt for this thing. $50,000 in debt, but just like last time, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's drop this down. Fire this up. All right, look at that. We're taking it in. Our barley is going up. We should be leaving behind. Exactly. So we've got the straw swath being left behind. Perfect. And we are picking up our barley. Look at that. That's excellent. And then once all this is said and done, once I have all the barley picked up, I'll be able to then turn around and pick up the straw and be able to start padding all my TMR. So that's going to be very nice. No longer just going to be a hay silage recipe. It's going to be hay silage and straw. Awesome. All right. Well, let's get to work.
All right, so this is the last little bit of product I need to pick up. There we go. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and dump this into the truck right over here. Open up the spout. Let's see, about right there, maybe. I was a little bit off. There we go. Alright, we can see it emptying out. Oh man, we have gotten so much done here. Tons and tons and tons. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fold all this away. Oh, gotta wait for that to be... There we go. Put everything back. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this into the yard. But, I mean, we've got to do all this bailing here. So, I mean, we we got plenty of stuff to do still. Plenty of stuff to do. But I'm going to pull this into the yard and we're going to get a final tally of what we got off of this field. Because it was a really, really good harvest here. Go ahead and just park this right over here for right now. There we go. Whew, filthy. All right. Let's grab the truck. Now we're going to have to deal with weeds. We're going to have to going to have to mulch, going to have to roll going to have to lay down lime and fertilizer and we're going to have a bunch of stuff that we're going to need to do to this field but for right now we just need to finish so there's a the truck what do we got in there forty three thousand liters in the truck 43,000. Not too shabby. All right. Now, we'll take, uh, I mean, I think this is going to get us almost to 200,000 liters of barley just off of this field alone. Hmm. I almost wonder if I should dump this into the chicken barn just to top it off. <laughs> that might be worth doing. Alright, here, let's do this. Let's pull over here. There we go. So we got 43,000 in the truck. We've got how much in the silo? 149,000. We've got 100, almost 150,000. What do we got in the chicken barn? We've got 70,000. Um, so, yeah, let's dump that in. Let's go ahead and see where this gets us. Alright, it is full. That means we've got a little bit left over here. 13,000. So this is going to give us a little over 160,000. Yeah, 163,000 liters. Not bad at all. Now what we need is our tractor and our baler. Let's get to work. Now where is the tractor? There it is.
There we go. So now... We're going to get to work on bailing. Alright, so first we need to... Drop down... This. Actually, let me see what kind of spread we got here. So there that is. We might be able to get two rows at the same time. And there we go. We're going to be making some straw bales. This is excellent. We, oh, I've been really wanting to get some straw here on the farm so that we can pad our TMR and really start you know, using less and less of more valuable products like the silage and hay and be able to just kind of fluff it up. Yeah, see, hmm. One of those I might focus on doing one row at a time. There we go. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and get to work, get all this stuff done, make a whole bunch of bales, and then we're going to pick them up, put them into the barn, and be good to go. So I'm going to see you in a while. Alright, so I had completely forgotten that I had my trailer over by my honey hut, so I needed to take care of the honey first, so I decided to load everything up real fast, and now I'm here at the restaurant to sell off all my honey. Let's see what we get for that. Oh yeah, look at that, 13,000, ooh, and an environmental score bonus. Very nice, I must have rebounded after... Uh, after my harvest there. So that is amazing. Now let's go ahead and get back to the farm and we will go ahead and start picking up all the bales, get them all loaded into the barn and be good to go from there. All right, so I am backing up the last load here. Oh, oh really? I am completely full here. Hmm. Well, I guess the only other place I can store this for the time being is over here. But yeah, last uh, bales here. Perfect. So let's see, we have... What was that? 29 straw bales here. And we have... Let's see... 41 here. So we've got tons and tons of straw. So that is awesome. We are in a good place right now.
All right, so I wanted to come over here real quick and I wanted to take a look and see what exactly do I have in regards to hay, straw, silage, all that stuff, and taking a look at the amount of food that is in my cow barn, I think I'm going to go ahead and start working on getting all the stuff necessary over to the TMR mixer over there and go ahead and just start making it now. I don't see any reason why I should just wait or do anything like that. So I'm going to start grabbing straw bales from over here. I think I'm going to try and get about uh, about 100,000 liters of each product into here. That way it will just be churning for a while and it will produce quite a bit of TMR. So let's go ahead and come over here first. So I think if I get... Let's see, right here, uh, let's see, straw. Think if I get nine bales, because it's 11,000 liters each, that's 99,000 liters, so let's get nine. All right, there's nine there. And then, I think I have like 50,000 liters of hay in here. Uh, let's see, 56,000, so let's see what each bale is here. Uh, let's see, so hay or 9,000 liters, 50,000, we're talking what, uh, five, five liters, uh, five bales? Now, where is the trigger point? That's that's a good question. Uh, let's turn this on real quick. Oh, over here. Nope. Mm, this one. Yes. Okay, we want five of these. Oh, there it is right there. And then we want silage... Let's get, let's see. Um, bum, 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 bum. We'll start with that there. Okay. So let's go grab the truck. We'll load everything on. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move this stuff around. I'm gonna get everything loaded, and then we'll be able to load this into the uh, the production there. So the mixer. So let's get turned around. There we go. All right, I'm gonna get everything loaded. I'm gonna grab my telehandler, and actually, while I'm thinking of it too, let's go ahead and turn those back off. I will uh, see you in a little while. There we go. I've got everything taken care of. Got everything onto the trailer that I need. Let's go ahead and unload this. There we go. I think. Oh, I missed one. There we go. Got it that time. All right. So you can see we've got, let's see, 111,000 liters of silage, 110,000 liters of hay, and 99,000 uh, liters of straw. So let's go ahead. And we will now turn on the total mix ration one. So we're going to take 1,500 liters of hay, 1,500 liters of silage, 15, I'm sorry, uh, 1,000 liters of straw, 
and get 4,000 liters total of TMR. So we're going from 2,000, 2,000 to get the 4,000 to now 15, 15, and one. We are cutting out 500 liters of hay, 500 liters of silage, and we're packing it with 1,000 liters of straw in its place. This is awesome. And you can see that it's going to just rapidly, rapidly increase the amount of production that we have here. I'm so happy about that. So absolutely thrilled. So now, let's go ahead and... There we go. Perfect. Now, I think, for the most part, I think we're going to be all good. I think what I'm going to be doing, but I don't think we're going to have enough time here. Let's see. Yeah, 163,000 liters of barley. I think I'm going to turn all that barley and the sunflowers, as a matter of fact. I think I'm going to turn that all in the seed. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell all that off. And that's going to be a huge, huge profit. Now that I've done the harvest here on that big field, uh, let's take a look here at the, in per, uh, yeah, the precision farming. Oh, wow. 83 that was in like the 40s or 50s this one's in the 80s that's awesome and now this one is up to the 80s so i mean all in all we have done so much on our farm and we have completely turned this around absolutely turned this around we get a 10 percent bonus now on our products yeah we're doing awesome i am really really thrilled about this because all in all We've been working very hard, and we got a ton off of this field. I mean, you look here at the yield uh, performance. We did pretty well. I mean, you figure, what's that? That's, uh, yeah, most of that uh, green band there is 115%, so that's nice. Uh, let's see. Some of that's 195. So, I mean, there was some areas there that were, you know, Full expected yield. Not too bad. I think that's all in all pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So let's see. I meant to grab. There's a uh, pallet of wool that's ready to uh, move over here. So might as well do that. We're just going to keep on building up our supplies here until we figure out what to do next. You can see we've got uh, two cartons of eggs. We've got uh, seven pallets of wool. We're doing all right. We're doing pretty good. So yeah, I think I think we're going to start turning this into seeds. I think that's what we're going to start doing. So I got to get my tractor, move this over. Let me see. Do I have any more? Uh, let's see. That's mostly full for the seed treatment. Do I have any more? I know I'm going to need more. I know I will. Yeah, there's some up there on the top shelf. Okay, well, let me uh, get to work on this.
So check this out. We are almost done with the about 3,000 liters. It was just shy of 3,000 liters for the sunflowers. That 3,000, almost 3,000, gave us almost 10,000 liters of seeds. That is ridiculous. And what's even better is, like I've, I've pointed this out before, but I've got to just continue to emphasize this. The selling point, the highest sell point right now is the grain sell point at $1,083. This gets as high as $1,400. But if we take a look at seeds, this gets as high as $18, almost $1,900. Its lowest point is just below the highest point of sunflowers. And we tripled almost, actually more than tripled, our uh, sunflowers into seeds. So the profit margin that you get off of this is ridiculous. There's no comparison whatsoever. In my opinion, this is one of the best things that you can do with your grains or with your with whatever you get uh, is convert it into seeds and you will get some good amount of money real quick. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue to work on this, just getting more and more seeds, getting more and more stuff to be able to offload and sell and be good to go. I mean, oh, 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 oh. Uh, we got quite a bit on the floor there. All right, that looks to be emptied. There we go. Now this isn't gonna produce nearly as much, but we've got 160,000, even if we only get double, double what we had here, we're still going to get quite a bit of product. I mean, a lot of product we're going to get. So, yeah, I am uh, really, really excited about this because we're going to make an absolute killing off of this. Again, right now, what's the price? $1,400. So it's almost a one-to-one -one right now with the sunflowers uh, at its highest. So we make about $400 per thousand liters more for the seeds right now than we would for the sunflowers but we tripled the amount of seeds that we had so yeah i mean it's an absolute no-brainer and then we are going to take that three thousand liters that we just put in there of barley and make that into seeds which we're about eh, two-thirds of the way through and yeah <laughs> i mean look at that we were under 10,000 liters. It was about 9,800-ish. And we're already up to almost 14,000 liters. This thing is an amazing bit of equipment. And we are going to run out of seed treatment very, very soon. We're going to have to go buy more. But I think before any of that happens, <sighs> we're going to call this an episode. We got so much done. We got our entire fields harvested. We've got everything just going real good with the farm here. We still need to buy equipment. We are really still behind on the equipment game, but we've got everything that's necessary to get the job done. And yeah, I, I can't complain. I cannot complain whatsoever. Now we're just about, wow, just wow. Look at this, all done. One, $15,443 uh, 43 liters. Holy smokes, that is insane. That was, what, um, about 6,000 liters-ish, we'll say, about about 6,000, so about double what we put in in uh, barley got taken and put in into seeds. I'm just, I'm just blown away. I'm, I know, I know we've done this before, but it's it's worth it it's worth every penny every dime that we put into the seed treatment liquid that i've got another pallet over here i'm going to bring over but i'm going to have to buy more i mean 160,000 liters of this stuff is going to go through real quick but 
I mean, all things said and done, we're going to make a lot of money. And every time we fill this up, we're going to just go ahead and jet over and dump it off at the silo. And we'll be golden from there. We will be in really, really good terms. We'll be able to load it up on the train. We'll get it all out in one go and get it sold off. Because, again, what are seeds going for? And, yeah. Sedalia, $1,437 per thousand liters. We've already got 15000 right there. So take that, times that by 15 and you'll get a rough estimate of what we're going to get just with this. And we have 160,000 to go. We're basically going to double this into 320 ish thousand liter territory, is what I'm guessing. Yeah. Plus the almost 10,000 in sunflowers. We're going to be, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. So based on just rough math, just rough, rough math. So we've got, let's say, 320,000 liters times that. Let's see, by 1,437 dollars, we're roughly going to make 459,000 dollars when everything is all said and done. So I'm looking forward to that payout. That's going to be really nice. One harvest, half a million dollars almost. That'll be enough to pay off our loan and have quite a bit extra after it i'm really excited but i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please show me by liking sharing subscribing following commenting doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing shows you engage with this channel and join the content and that being said i hope you have a fantastic day take care